Okay, welcome to this lesson on how to use a computer. So we're going to look at a number of things in this lesson. The first is to know what different types of computer there are, and then be able to describe the advantages and disadvantages of each type. And then we're going to use our knowledge to apply a computer to a particular problem. Okay, so computer types. Can you think of any? Have you used any today or yesterday or the day before? Have a think about what different types of computer there are. So the first one that probably came to mind was your mobile phone. This is very, very, very ubiquitous now. Most people have one. They're very portable and easy to move around, which is obviously a positive. They're easy to use, so the user interface is easy to get to grips with. They do have limited power of processing though, and they cannot do as many things as a larger computer can do. And of course they're limited in the amount of battery they have, so longer or more difficult tasks are impossible uh, or are limited without recharging. So the next one you may have thought of is the laptop computer. This is also quite portable and easy to move around, which is a positive. It can be relatively powerful. If you have a gaming laptop with a GPU inside, it can be almost as powerful as a large computer. But they're a lot more expensive for the same power than a non-portable computer is. And of course, they also suffer from limited battery life and often the more power-hungry or intensive tasks you need to actually plug them in for. Okay, we now move to the desktop computer, and I've included two images here because often desktops are just a screen now, and they do come in tower form as well. They're cheap and powerful, which is a positive. They can be upgraded uh, easily, so you can change in and out parts as they get more advanced, so new graphics cards, for example. They're a lot less portable, though, so they can't be moved as easily as other types of computers. And they're often a little tricky to use, so it can take a while to get used to using them. So the next one is the computing server, and this is um, extremely powerful. Um, and it can be used for any task that computers are suitable for, which is obviously a real positive. It has significant amounts of memory and can run lots of other computers, and they actually help power the internet, or they make the internet possible. They are heavy and very difficult to move, though, and they're very expensive to buy and run. They use an awful amount of electricity and generate a lot of heat. Okay, the next one might have slipped your mind, which is embedded devices. So these are everywhere. They're very low power, and so they can be used in any device, like washing machines, dishwashers, microwaves, they've all got them. They're cheap to produce and maintain, and they're extremely reliable. They're limited in power, though, so they can only perform simple tasks, and they're very difficult to upgrade. So once you've put them in, they kind of have to stay as they are. Okay, so now a little challenge for you. Can you match the computer to the problem? So there'll be a number of uh, pictures of different computers and a number of statements. Can you link uh, together the statement with the um, right device? So answers will be coming up on the screen in a minute. So if you need to pause it, please do so now. And here are the answers.